Hey guys, I have a story to tell you guys. <laughs> First, let me get this damn shine off my forehead. Damn, okay. It is what it is. You guys, okay, let me just tell you something. And you guys don't get this whole filter today. I don't give a whole damn. I saved a life. Now, I'm sure you guys remember me making a video months ago, okay? About the importance of having an aspirin, right? Yep, I told you guys. I'm on the go bus going to work yesterday. Today's the 30th. Okay, guys? And there's a couple, Filipino couple sitting next to me on the other side or whatever. And <clears throat> you guys, I'm, I'm looking at the situation. I have my headphones in, but I'm seeing this lady kind of hitting the man's back, right? Anyways, so I'm seeing the man kind of slouching over, kind of bending over like this on her. And uh, I took off my headphones. I'm like, is he okay? She's like, no, I don't think so. She said his back, his back is hurting him. And I'm like, shit, like, I know the symptoms of what I think it is. But she's saying, I said, is his chest hurting him? And she's like, no, you know? And she's like, he's sweating and he feels cold. And I'm like, that, to me, I said, do you, I have aspirin. Do you want me to give him an aspirin? So she's like, Oh, no, no, no. I said, do you have water? She's like, yes. Gave him, and she took out the water out of her bag. She's giving him the water, and he's drinking, he's guzzling it, okay? You can tell. His breathing is already, like, weird, because I'm looking at his tummy going up and down kind of thing, whatever kind of thing. And I'm like, I think, I said, she's like, she's on the way to Mount Sinai. He has been complaining about this back pain and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, should I, I think you should come off the bus, I think you need to take him to the hospital. She said, you think so? I said, yes, you do. He is not looking well. And I think in my mind, this is a heart attack. So she's, I'm like, I have aspirin, you know, I think you should take, I think he should take one. And she's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I say, you hold on. I'm going to stop this bus. Okay, guys. And I did. I went to the bus driver and I said, oh shit, my hair. And I said to him, there's an emergency and I need you to stop this bus. So he pulls over at Scarborough Town Center, kind of basically, we're all on the way out. And he pulls over the bus. Bus stops, I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna be late for work, but it is what it is, this is an emergency. And luckily, there's a girl on the bus also that works with me so i'm like all right she's gonna be you know my witness okay lo and behold just kind of long story short the bus ended up stopping they called 911 the dispatchers they're taking eons for an ambulance to come and y'all know scarborough town center there's hospitals pretty much close by my hair is tangled right now but i'm trying to get the story out so anyways um i didn't get to see what happened after but to me, guys, I felt this man was having a heart attack. All right, so he tells us, come off the bus, go to the next bus. There's other buses going to take us where else, where else, wherever we need to go. So I'm come off the bus now. We don't have to tap, whatever, whatever, whatever. Long story short, again, I'm coming home from work today. I'm in conversation with some random lady next to me oh my god guys i'm struggling right now some random lady next to me and i look up because i felt somebody staring at me lo and behold is it not the same lady from yesterday and i'm like oh my god hi what happened yesterday she says to me oh god my hair she says to me they went to the hospital yesterday and guess what? She said, you were right. He had a, he was having a heart attack. And the ambulance, when they came immediately, they gave him two aspirins. 
at something else. And I said, oh my God. I said, listen, lady, you're supposed to always have aspirin on you at all times. Okay. <sighs> you guys. She said, you are an angel. She said, I told every all my children about you. Oh my goodness. And she's like, you saved him. You saved his life yesterday. Because she wasn't going to stop. She wasn't going to ask for help. Had I not stopped that bus, you guys, that man would have died on that bus. He would have died on that bus. And I should have just pushed the friggin' aspirin on him and said, open your little mouth, sir. And yo... I swear I'm supposed to be a doctor in, in, in some lifetime because I, I just had a feeling. And she said, you were right, you know. And then come to find out the lady I was talking to next to me, just randomly, she's a, a damn nurse. And she's like, I have my aspirin on me too. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen to you guys' conversation, but you were right. I said, yes. And the lady just couldn't stop. She's like, I just told my son, you know, I'm on the bus with the same person. I had given her my business card, but I didn't write my cell phone number down on it, whatever the case is. But anyways, I just did. And she's like, I'm so, so thankful for you. Oh my goodness. So thankful, thankful. And then prior to that, I got into an argument a couple of weeks ago, defending somebody on the bus and f with a Karen. And then Karen ended up like, she was grilling me, but she was hearing the whole conversation. So she sees that I'm an angel. Mm -hmm. Anyways, then the bus was so cold. I had to go tell the bus driver to take, take off the friggin' heat AC. And then she starts to try to join, join the conversation. Probably not racist anymore because she sees I'm such a nice girl. Anywho, guys, could you imagine? You guys, I am not joking. Have a bottle of aspirin on you at all freaking times. Okay, guys? I am not joking. I saved a life yesterday, all right? Because I had aspirin and I was going to offer it. I, okay, I didn't give it to him, but still. I knew the man was having a freaking heart attack. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But anyhow, he had fainted. He would have fainted. I would have shoved that down his throat. 100%. 100%. Okay? I'm about to wash my damn face off. But you guys, holy crap. Um, the lady, the black lady next to me, she started talking to and saying, you know, her experience. And she's like, you must always have a bottle of aspirin on you at all times. You always have to have a bottle of aspirin on you. You guys, you think you, you think this is a joke, eh? This is not a joke. It's not only for you. Do you not understand? I need you guys to take this shit so seriously, eh? Take this seriously. I saved a life, okay? I literally saved a life yesterday. The bus driver, even him, was like, thank you so much, you know, for letting me know. And then... He, the lady was telling me basically that he said in all the 17 years or how much every years he was driving this bus, he's never encountered something like this ever. And this was his experience, okay? So anyways, guys, I did a good deed and I really, I look so, I'm not frumpy, guys. I am not frumpy. Anyways, I did a good deed. I can't believe this actually happened. I did make a video about this and I can't believe I've been, I was in a situation where I had to pull out my aspirin okay please you guys even if it's a baby a bottle of baby aspirin please always have it on you you do not know whose life you're gonna i know the symptoms the man was complaining about backache the only crazy thing is that she was thumping the man on his back you know and the man was so fragile and so like feeble as it is i gotta cut off because it's gonna cut off right now anyways guys and she was hitting him on the back and i don't know if it was a bad thing for me to give him water or make him drink water either way the man is Okay, but they have him doing a lot of tests right now. I can't believe how God made that work. That I end up back on the bus coming home, random hour, and meeting this, the, the lady on the bus. She couldn't get over the fact that I was, that she met me again. And she said she was going to email me last night, but everything was so much. Anyways, guys, I saved a life. Please save a life. Walk with a bottle of aspirin. Okay, guys, it's about to cut off. I got to go and wash off my damn face and go watch some, some foolish show with my kid that she's been bugging me for. You guys, I feel so amazing, crazy.